Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So two days ago I posted on Instagram that I want to do a Q&A and I realized that I didn't specify whether I want the Q&A to be a personal Q&A or a fitness Q&A and I got tons of questions in both categories so I've decided that I'm going to split it into two different portions. This part of the Q&A will be fitness focused so I'm going to answer tons of questions that I think will be helpful for many people especially if you're a beginner and if you're trying to get into a healthy lifestyle um, and then if you're someone who asked a question that was more personal that will be answered in a Q&A that I'll do in about two weeks. I tend to ramble a little bit so they're usually very long and then I just have to like cut them down a lot. So I'm gonna get straight into this. Question number one, how do you motivate yourself? And I actually got tons of questions that were very similar to this one. Um, how do I stay motivated with the gym, with eating healthy, with just living a healthy lifestyle overall? And I thought this was a good question to kick off this video because to be completely honest, I am not motivated all the time. Actually, I'm probably motivated like 50% of the time. The reason that I've been able to live this lifestyle for such a long time is mainly because of dedication. I think that dedication will always get you farther than motivation because motivation is very fleeting it's gonna come and go like some days you don't want to get up and go to the gym you just want to lay in your bed and watch Netflix and just eat chocolate and trust me like that happens to me more times than I would like to admit but because the gym and healthy food is such a big part of my lifestyle now it's just a routine for me at this point I also think that I'm a Capricorn and I love like lists and I love checking things off of a list nothing gives me more pleasure than when I have like a full to-do list and then at the end of the day I can just check everything off like I love it and I think that's part of the reason why it's so much easier for me to follow through with things that I know I need to get done like whether or not I'm motivated whether I want to do it or not if I'm committed to something I know I 100% will do it something like that will definitely be easier for certain people and harder for others but um, practice and forgive yourself if there's days where you do choose to stay in bed and watch Netflix and eat cookies and stuff, it's okay. It happens to all of us, but try again next day. That was a very long answer. I apologize. <laughs> Moving on. Question number two, do you believe in cheat days? I personally don't believe in cheat days because I just don't think that that promotes a very healthy relationship with food. Um, if you guys have watched the My Fitness Journey video, I will have that link down below. For me, binge eating started off with cheat days. I would have planned cheat days and non-planned cheat days, and it just kind of spiraled out of control. Um, I think the best thing for your mental state is to just treat yourself when you want to have something um, moderation practice 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 moderation it's okay to have a cookie it's okay to have two cookies I always relate to cookies because I love cookies just throwing that out there uh, but just moderation will get you so much further than eating super clean for like six days out of the week and then having a full-blown like 6,000 calorie cheat day because you're going to feel crappy that is not healthy for your body. It could cause you to view food in a very negative way, which is what happened to me, and personally, I'm just not a fan. What are your all-time favorite exercises slash lifts? Um, if I had to choose like three top favorites, I would say hip thrusts, walking lunges, and, oh, I don't know. It's hard to say, I love so many. Let's do sumo deadlifts because it's a compound movement and it engages your entire body and I think it's just great. So those are my top three favorites. What does your weekly workout plan look like? For example, do you do legs on Monday, abs on Tuesday, and so on? I got so many questions on what my current workout routine is like. So at the moment, I train five times a week and then I have two rest days. Um, on Monday, I'll usually do legs. On Tuesday, I'll do an upper body day with some cardio. Wednesday, I'll do like a HIIT workout, usually on the treadmill or the Stairmaster, and then I'll do a ton of stretching, ton of mobility work. I really focus on giving my body a little bit of a break from lifting, but also staying active and going to the gym. Then on Thursday, I'll do another leg day, and then on Friday, I'll do an upper body day. Saturday and Sunday are usually my rest days. Um, sometimes it changes. Sometimes I'll take a rest day in the middle of the week if I feel like I need to, but for the most part, that's my workout schedule. What type of music do you listen to while you work out? I actually get loads of questions about this, what kind of music I personally listen to, and I'm going to be completely honest. I literally just go to Spotify and then I listen to I think it's called like today's yeah today's top hits I don't know if you can see that basically what's currently popular on the radio and I feel like it just gets me through my workout I don't have to press skip a ton of times for the most part it's a lot of the songs that I like so that's my favorite playlist on Spotify. Next question, hip dips, how do you get rid of them? So I actually really was excited to answer this one because along with that, I got tons of questions on cellulite, how to get rid of it. Um, and I think that these kind of questions, especially the hip dips one, it's very new. Um, 
I feel like even a year ago hip dips weren't really a thing and then all of a sudden it became a thing and everyone started focusing on it and realizing that they have them when in reality women have always had them it has never been pointed out as a flaw up until very recently and then on YouTube and Instagram you'll find all these like workouts and ways to get rid of hip dips and targeting hip dips and stuff but it is literally your bone structure and I have it most women have it in some body types you'll be able to see it a little bit more in others a little bit less but in reality there's really no way to get rid of it I know that that might not be the answer that you want to hear but I think it's important to realize that it's normal if you have it. It's not even something that we should focus on in the first place. Same with cellulite. I have cellulite. A bunch of my friends who are into fitness have cellulite. And I think, you know, magazines and social media and stuff, it's just going to make you so hyper aware of your body when in reality, it's okay. Just focus on eating healthy foods, on exercising regularly, and you will be able to reach your personal best physique possible and live the healthiest life that you possibly can but you don't have to focus so much on these little teeny tiny things that don't even really matter what is your personal struggle when it comes to eating slash working out i thought this was an awesome question and i was so excited to answer this because i feel like a lot of the time with youtube and with instagram you see people living this lifestyle and it seems like they are so dedicated so motivated they do nothing wrong they never mess up and i know that that can be so hard especially if you're someone who isn't always on track 24 7 and doesn't always eat healthy and doesn't always exercise regularly like i said it 100 percent happens to me although i'm not a snacker i absolutely love sweets and i feel like the line between moderation and then just like straight up overeating um gets crossed a lot so for example something that i really love is those like chocolate covered like goji berries i've showed them on my channel so many times um i cannot buy like the huge bags i have to buy those little two serving ones um and have those in the house and only have like a couple because if i have the huge bag i'll eat like more than half of it and i have struggled with binge eating in the past it's not binge eating for me i know it's definitely just overeating because once i'm full and once i like have had enough i stop i don't have any more but i just overeat on them a lot and it happens with like a lot of sweets like i'll have instead of having one brownie i'll have two brownies or three brownies or three cookies i just my sweet tooth is crazy so that's what i struggle with i'm gonna be completely honest it takes a lot of self power and will to like say no for me to certain things but i know myself i know what i have to do in order to reach my goals and like i said dedication to this lifestyle is what keeps me going and what keeps me um committed how can i get a flat tummy like yours genetically all my fat goes to my stomach and love handles and it's so frustrating um there was a whole lot of questions that were very similar i thought this was a great question to answer especially for those who are beginners so something that you have to realize is that genetics play a huge role in your body composition your body fat percentage how you store fat where you store it where it's going to come from when you're dieting even when you lose fat what you're going to look like overall how much muscle you can build in certain areas all of those things are very very dependent on your genetics along with your nutrition and your workouts but those two things you can manipulate and change whereas genetics there's not much you can do about it unless you just go under the knife and that's just me being completely honest and open with you guys if you have watched the my fitness journey video then you know i did not start off as very skinny i was overweight up until i got into fitness four years ago and the reason for that is mainly because i had a very poor diet i did not eat healthy um i didn't exercise i didn't take care of myself at all so once i got into fitness i lost quite a bit of weight i gained some muscle and my body composition has changed completely since that has happened i have realized that i do have a very i would say lucky body composition and the way that my body distributes fat because i just honestly don't store a lot of fat in my stomach i really never have even if you see my other pictures like before my transformation um, I store most of my fat in my arms and my legs just my limbs overall but my torso stays very lean now four years later the fact that I build some muscle that I go to the gym regularly I lift heavy I do cardio I eat healthy all of those things help me stay lean now I want to elaborate on that just because I want you guys to understand that it doesn't take me an insane low calorie diet or crazy amounts of cardio or I don't even know what else to stay lean however for a person who has completely different genetics as me it could be very difficult for them to stay this lean all the time they might need a higher body fat percentage to function properly and that is completely normal don't feel bad about yourself if you can't get to someone else's level of leanness and maintain it or if you do store fat in your stomach like 
that happens to most women. On top of that, I also have four years of where I have been living this lifestyle and I've gone through many bulking phases where I actively tried to build muscle and eat in a caloric surplus. So all of those things will play a role in your fat distribution and how lean you can personally get or stay. But my best advice is just don't compare yourself to other people. Focus on your own goals, on your own fitness journey, on becoming the best version of yourself, whether that be physically or mentally or emotionally, whatever you're working on, just don't compare yourself to someone else because they might be at a different level of fitness or they might have been doing this for longer. It's going to do you no good if you focus on that rather than than yourself. Do you do intermittent fasting? Why or why not? I think intermittent fasting is great for certain type of people. I'm definitely that person. I do not wake up hungry and I have never ever woken up hungry. I remember when I was even younger, my mom would always be like, you have to eat breakfast like right as you wake up. And sometimes that would make me so sick. I would want to throw up and I would just feel nauseous all the time. It just wasn't for me. The best thing for me that I can do is wake up, have some water. Sometimes I'll even go to the gym, do a fasted workout. And then once I feel hungry, I'll start eating. Now, with that being said, intermittent fasting is very specific. Usually people who practice it, they follow certain eating windows. Um, and I don't do that. I just kind of don't wake up hungry and I go on about my day up until I get hungry, which is usually around 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. But that's to the extent that I follow intermittent fasting. My last meal of the day is probably around like 8 p.m., sometimes even 9. I really like going to bed full. I think it helps me sleep better. So I don't stop myself at a certain time just because I'm following intermittent fasting. But like I said, I think for people who don't wake up hungry like myself, intermittent fasting could be great. If you're someone who does wake up hungry and you're just like starving and you need to eat something, intermittent fasting is not for you. But as with anything else in regards to fitness, you just have to figure out what works best for you. If you could only wear one set of workout clothes for the rest of your life, which would it be? Interested in seeing what your favorite gym outfit is. I think if I had to live in one set of workout clothes, it would be the seamless sports bra from Gymshark because I just always find myself, like when I'm going to work out, I always grab it out of all the other sports bras that I have. It's so comfortable. It gives like the perfect amount of support. It doesn't dig into you. I don't know. It's perfect. I love it. So it would be that. And then for leggings, that's so hard to say. I'm going to go with either the Lululemon Align Pants or the Gymshark Dreamy Leggings because they're very similar and they're both so comfortable and so flattering that I can't decide. I really can't. And then for a top, I'd wear... <laughs> I love cropped hoodies from Forever 21. Those are like my favorite ones to zip up. So it'd be the Gymshark Sema Sports Bra, then either the Dreamy Leggings or the Lululemon Leggings, and then a crop zip up from forever 21 that would be my outfit i could work out in that every single day because if you're cold you could keep the hoodie on if you're too hot you could just work out in sports bra works out perfectly next any current slash future fitness goals if no particular goals would you change up your current routine to try something new for example f45 or boxing etc if you haven't already of course love you babe i love you too thank you this is like such a good question and i'm just going to be completely honest and i think this is going to be the last one that i answer because this q a is going to be so long but I think that I'm so used to and I've been able to stick to weightlifting and the gym overall for such a long time that for me that will always be my main workout routine. However, it's not that I don't want to try any other things, but I have tried hot yoga in the past and the first like two days that I tried, I'm like so motivated and I always tell myself this is it, this is going to be my new thing and then it just never works out, I just don't ever stick to it. But I actually used to work at a martial arts gym so I've tried CrossFit and boxing and stuff and I loved it. I feel like it's a good thing to do every once in a while but I just don't think I could stick to anything for as long as I've stuck to weightlifting in the gym overall. But this is going to conclude this Q&A. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it wasn't too long. I will do the more personal portion of it in two weeks so stay tuned. Thank you again for watching thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.